Alright everyone, welcome to another video. We're going to do something a little different this time. We're actually going to show you how to make your SDR setup portable. Now, if for some of you, you may not have a laptop or it's hooked to the power 24-7. I have a desktop where I cannot stream it at all. Right now, I'm on a laptop, but we're going to show you how to make your SDRs portable through your cell phone. Now, for this method to work, you're going to need a handful of programs. We're not going to go to each one of them in depth. We're just going to show you some basics. So the first set of programs you're going to need, you're going to need a decoder of your choice. This could be either DSD Plus, SDR Trunk, or OP25, or even SDR Sharp. You're also going to need a virtual audio cable in order to feed that audio to Zello. You're also going to need Zello itself, which is a push-to-talk app, kind of like having a radio on your phone where you can create channels and talk to people. And that's how we're going to actually stream the radio to we're going to have it set up to where it takes DSD's audio and puts it straight to Zello. Now, in order to control it, which this one is more of optional, you're going to need TeamViewer. Now, TeamViewer is going to be used to control, control the computer you're streaming the audio from. So say, for example, we have DSD on one computer, but we want to change the frequency because we're out and about. Well, we can pull up our phone and TeamViewer on our phone or on another PC that has TeamViewer installed and signed into an account and we can edit the frequencies there. Again, TeamViewer is optional. Another thing, in order for this to work, you have to have, I wouldn't say a decent internet connection, but you're gonna need cell service or an internet connection with at least 3G or 4G, or 5G even. So again, you can, if you're in a rural area where you don't have very good cell service or internet connection, this may not work, but if you live in a bigger city or you know with something with decent internet or cell service reception, you should be fine. So let's first start out with our programs we're going to need. So first things first, like as I said before, you're going to need Zello. I'll put all of these down in the description where you can get it. You can download the Zello app. Now you can. You, it depends. You can do it on your iPhone, Android, or PC. For this sake, you would download it on PC. It's going to install an EXE file. I'm not going to do it because I already have Zello pulled up there on the bottom. It's an EXE. You're going to download it, install it, and you'll be good from there. You're also going to need Team Viewer. You hit download and then you can download Team Viewer from here. Again, another EXE you just open up. Now here's the virtual audio cable. You download this and it's going to give you a folder. You're going to pull setup 64 and mine says remove driver. You're going to install the driver. So once it's installed, what you're going to do is you're going to want to restart your computer. Now once your computer's restarted, we can start working on getting DSD set up. Now, first things first is you want to go into DSD Plus Fastlane, which again, I have Fastlane because I spent, I think, was it $10 for a year subscription? Trust me, I know it's 10 bucks, but at max, that's what you're going to spend on this setup besides the SDR on the computer. If you take those two out, the software itself is only 10 bucks. It's a pretty nice little software. So for this, I only have one RTL SDR dongle for this situation. You can have two, but it works decently on two. So I'm going to come over here to FMP24.cc. And I'm going to put in my uh, control channel for Madison County like we did in that last video. Actually, that's 856, my bad. So we're going to put in the control channel for Madison County, start pulling data. We're going to hit save. We're going to, it is glitching hard. <laughs> we're going to open it up and we're going to come to 1R and open that up as well. And you can see we're getting data. There it is. It's, I don't, again, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, the sites and the talk groups in there just because I don't really use DSD on this computer. This is usually a streaming computer, but I'm a little limited on resources, so I'm going to use this computer instead. So DSD is going. Now, with the, when your virtual audio cable is installed, this is what you want to do on the Fastlane version. This is, again, this is the Fastlane version. This is not the free version. You're going to go to your output. You're going to keep it as VB audio cable. The reason why we want to do this is because, again, we wanted to pipe it straight to Zello. So once you have that set up and it's already streaming, as you can see here, it's it's decoding the data. We're now going to go to Zello. Okay, so once you've installed Zello, you need to create an account, create a username, password, all that stuff. Now, you, now for this, you're going to have to have two accounts. One that streams the software, or one that streams the audio to Zello itself, and then you need another account to receive it. So one's going to be on your computer, and the other one's going to be on your phone. 
Now, once you create your account, you can see that there, this is my profile right here that's on my phone, and I have myself as a, as a contact just on the off chance. So what you want to do is, is once you have your first profile set up, you're going to want to come over here to Tools, and, and oh, actually, no, you don't want to create a channel, my bad. You want to hit Create Channel. You want to put a channel name. I'm going to put, um, let's do Madison. Sir Madison System. Or let's see, Madison PS System, which is, stands for Public Safety, and I cannot spell. So Madison PS System. You can do anyone talk or listen. Personally, if you you can make this public yeah, if you want, make it a password. I'm not going to make it. I'm, not, I'm going to make it public. I'm going to put only the owner. The moderators can talk. Anyone can listen. I'm not going to put a password protection on it. Again, you can do that. And you can update the profile. You can put all that stuff in there. I'm not going to do that. You can do that later. You can put a picture. I sometimes do that. You can see I have one person online. You can come over here to show online users. And there's no one. The only person is me. Now, another thing is important. You want to enable your Vox. Now, on your Vox, you will come over here and down to Options. This part is important because this is how it's going to receive the audio. Now, Vox is basically when it auto detects something as you can see right there it's auto detecting it and it will automatically once it hears something on that certain voice or uh, volume threshold it will start transmitting on whatever channel you're connected to i would probably keep it around 50 or less i mean you want it the lower it is the more it's going to pull in and this stuff, trigger time, relaxation time, you got to tinker around with that. It all honestly depends on your setup. I would probably tinker around with it for maybe about 30 minutes and see what you get. Now, once that's done, you are good on the Zello side. Now, for TeamViewer, you want to create an account on TeamViewer. Now, TeamViewer is going to be your editing software. Now, the, not the editing software, let me backtrack. TeamViewer is going to be used as a software where you can view your computer's screen and edit your scan list or your uh, frequency, your listen to, or your trunk system you're listening to. So again, you sign in, create an account, and I, and I can't show it because it's my personal information, but under remote control, there's going to be an ID and a password. You want to put that in on your computer and we'll go over to the other computer here in a minute to show you what I mean when I'm when I say password. So what we're gonna do is is once you have remote team viewer set up and you have your username and password, we're going to go ahead and write it down, do whatever. And then we're gonna go to our lit our viewing device or what we're gonna see the computer from. So let me go on ahead and sh switch over to the other computer and I'll show you what you mean. Okay, here we are on the receiving computer. This is my my Mac, my other computer. Now you're going to come over to computers. Now, once you sign in, you want to insert your partner ID. Now, remember, your partner ID is that ID that it says under partner ID. Once you type that in, it's going to request you to show the – it's going to show tell you to put in the password. Once you put in the password, it will connect yourself to the computer. And I'll show you how to – I'll show you right now what that looks like. Okay, and here I'm signed into my uh, – computer my other computer this is my streaming computer now what's nice is you can see that it actually this is my mouse on my computer it's very responsive you think I'm, I'm actually on my Windows computer but no I'm actually on my Mac right now so again you can edit here you can see I'm here's all my window information and this is really nice personally in my opinion now let's go on ahead and go back to Zello because there is something I did miss but this is basically how you set it up so there is one more thing I got to mention and in order to edit again you can come over here to your frequency under F FMP 24 on this and you can actually type in the frequency so I don't want to listen to Madison let's listen to Bluegrass Army Depot 386.450 type that in and hit enter and it'll tune it up right there and I'm going to go back type it in there you go Actually, that is the wrong frequency. <laughs> type in that fan. So you can just type it in. You pull up the FMP24 window, and you can do this on your non on the computer that's actually streaming this information. Um, I'm just doing it because this is showing you how it looks like from another computer. Again, you could be out and about doing whatever, and you want to switch it. 
Um, another thing. I'm also going to show you what it looks like on your cell phone. And I will do that here in just a minute here. I'm gonna, just here in a minute, I'm going to switch over to the cell phone. I'm going to show you what it looks like on your phone. Okay, so right now we're on the cell phone. I'm actually recording my voice on my Mac because I can't do it for my phone. But what you want to do is you want to put your viewer ID. Now, that again, that's what on that computer you're streaming all this stuff from is going to be on. So let me go on ahead and type that in. And I got to type in the password because, again, I can't show you guys that because that's confidential on my end. But once I sh set that up, I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see here, here it is on my phone. And, again, all I have to do is just come over here and click on the top here. Don't want to start that program. Don't want to drag it either. Come over here. Go to your keyboard. 386.450. Can't really type, can I? Hit return, go right back. Let's go back. 8564875. Return. Let me try that one more time. The 8564. Yeah, this uh, keypad's a little small on my end. Okay, look at that. Perfect. So, as you can see, here it is. Back on it again. You can also come over here and change all your settings. You can look at all the information too which is kinda nice so if you wanna you wanna have a mobile way to maybe see who is you're listening to that this is a good way of doing it but let's actually get to the most important part and that is the audio so I'm gonna hop back to my other computer so we can finish setting up Zello and make sure everything looks good and then I'm gonna come back onto my phone and I'll show you how to add a channel and such okay so we have now just came back from team viewer on the other computer and now with our channel set up we're signed in. We need to go into our phone and create another account. Again, we need two accounts. The reason for this is that account number one, which is on the PC here, is going to be streaming the audio to a channel. That second profile or account is going to be used to stream or to listen to that audio on that channel. So we're going to hop over to my phone and we're going to show you how to set it up and get everything. Also, forgot to mention, TeamViewer and Zello are on the App Store. Just search up TeamViewer and Zello and install both those apps. Really quick, we're going to head over to my to my phone, and we're going to show you how to set up Zello on your cell phone. Okay, now we are on the Zello iPhone app. Now, you can get this for Android and iPhone. The, this part's going to be basically the same for both device device types. You're going to come over here. You're going to Once you create an account, you're going to come over to Channels. Now, you're going to want to hit Add, Find a Channel, Type in Madison PS system. Again, you want to type you want to type in exactly what that channel name is. So whatever that the whatever you sent that was, that's what you make it. Now you can share it if you want. Personally, I don't do that, but Okay, sorry about that. I did have some technical issues. It wasn't one to find my channel. But you can see there's Madison County PS System. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to hit Add. And it says, it says, once it adds, it'll come up to this. And this is the interface for Zillow. I can't talk. As you can see, I'm, press, I'm trying to press the PT button. It's not letting me because I changed that in the settings. Come over here. You can actually go through all of the transmissions it plays. I don't know if it will play anything because the system's not really active at the moment. But you, if you have the settings set up right, you can actually chat and talk to people. You can see there, there's my other account. There's both of my accounts. And from here, you can set up whatever. You can turn it off by hitting the power button up here on the top. But other than that, that is a basic overview. The, these programs are a lot more detailed, but I wanted to make a basic overview on how to do this. So really quick, let's uh, review really quick. So... What happens is you have your program DSD or SDR trunk. You feed that audio to your virtual audio cable. That audio cable is then connected with Zell the Zello app with your audio output with the Vox enabled on account number one. That is streaming the information to a channel on Zello that you have created with that first account. What you then want to do is, is with your second account you're going you created, you're going to open up, you're going to find and turn and add that channel basically and turn it on and that's how your audio is going to get fed through 
Now again, the team viewer part was optional. The team viewer part, once you add it to your computer, create an account, and then once you go to your second device, be it iPhone or another computer, put in your ID and your password, you will see what I did there. It will pull it up and you'll see it there. Now again, this is a basic setup. Oh, it's coming through. Turn it up here. This is on my phone, by the way. Possibly VA 131 Middle Archive. Med 3 have purpose 86 year old male with left side weakness. Facial drooping. History of stroke. No one has taken two out of the other of the ocean. That's the quality on. I'm actually running an iPhone 11. So that's the quality of the audio. It's not too bad. So again, I will leave everything down below on where you can find all this stuff. Again, it's virtual audio cable, Zello, DSD. I will leave a link to the free version. You can get Fastlane another way. Just um, you have to send money to PayPal. It's it's, it's a little <laughs> my opinion. It's a little sketchy, but it, trust me, you will you will not regret it. But personally, I would get DSD plus Fastlane. It makes it all a bit easier. You're also going to need a spare device, whether it be a computer or a phone. Now, you don't have to have Zello on your phone, you can put it on your computer as well. Now again, this, and again, the team viewer part is optional, you don't have to have that, that's if you just wanna edit or you know maybe change a frequency around, maybe you're tired of listening to something, you wanna to listen to something else. That's basically what team viewer is for, and again, that's optional. Personally, I wouldn't tinker with it, but I thought I would include it here just to give you all some options. And other than that, that is about it. Um, and I hope this, I did go, go kind of fast and I didn't explain everything super in depth, but I just wanted to get through the basics. Again, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of contents, a lot of information, but hopefully you all will make your SDRs portable. This is the option that I did for when I was waiting to get my scanner, my pager. I also made a podcast with Phil Lichtenberger on Scanner School. I will link that down below on what I did. It's We talked about uh, simulcast systems and how I'm actually using the method that I showed you all right now. And uh, we talk about how it, how it's kind of it's kind of a uh, a good idea to save money. It's we actually called Scanning on a Budget is the name of the uh, podcast actually. And what we'll do is, and I would personally listen to that. I know it's just the end of the video, but I personally would listen to that too to kind of see why I made this video. And not a lot of people make this stuff. I mean, I know a lot of, or no, I make how to do this. I know some people have sh talked about it. I know Phil has talked about it before on how to do it. But personally, I thought I would create a visual aid to show you all how it works. And again, this is basic stuff. So again, links in the description below to all the uh, software used. And also link to the podcast where we talk about this method and how it might save you some money versus spending $500 on a scanner or a pager. But again, and I think in the next video we're going to do, I've got a few things we're going to do. I think I'm going to do the DMR and SDR trunk. And then I'm also going to do the, a video on how to create a scan list on DSD plus fast lane. Can't, can't, I don't think you can really do it with free DSD, but the fast lane you can, you can, and it's pretty, pretty interesting how I do it. Very confusing at first, but it's all around. It's pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> and again, all these methods you can, and again with DSD, it doesn't have to be DSD. You can do it with SDR trunk as well. And if you all want me to show you how to do an SDR trunk, I will definitely make a quick video on that. Super easy. It's actually a lot easier than DSD. In my, it's about as easy as doing it on DSD, in my opinion. But again, final time saying it. Everything's linked down below. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day.